So let's say I did um, a sample of results, I did a survey or something like that, and the two variables that I was looking at was house number, so a person's house number, where they lived, okay, so not even just where they live, but just their house number, okay, and the second variable uh, I gave them a test, an IQ test, and I took in their score, okay? And I wanted to see whether there was any connection between uh, the house number uh, that people live at and how clever they are uh, as attributed to this IQ test. Now, you'd probably expect that actually the data point should be all over the place. It doesn't matter what house number you live at, okay? That won't affect your IQ, okay? Um, so, we would expect, be expecting the data to look like that. But what if, upon collecting this data, when I plot the graph, the data points actually look like this. And it turned out that from the sample that I'd be looking at that and then you could infer from it OK, then the higher the house number, the higher the IQ. OK, so that is a problem with scatter graphs because we can plot two bits of information that we know will have no connection whatsoever. And just through sheer fluke, they actually turn out to be correlated. We, but we know that there's no connection. And so this is where a very important statement, and one really you should make sure you know and learn, and know for future life whenever looking at scatter graphs um, and interpreting them, just because you have correlation, that doesn't mean you have causation. So correlation does not imply causation. This is a very important statement. So it means that just because you found that there is some correlation and hence, uh, well, because you found some correlation, between two variables, that doesn't mean that one causes the other. That the higher the house number, the higher the IQ, okay, which is nonsense. So this is a very important statement. And just because, and that this is the thing, right, if you went out into the workplace and you plotted a scatter graph and you could find a positive correlation, uh, it may well be that the two things are connected, okay? So if you had, um, I don't know, a score on two different maths tests and you plotted the results and you found that they looked like this, then uh, you would probably expect that if somebody did better on one maths test, then they would do better on the other. And that stands to reason, that makes sense. And so you would probably expect there to be some uh, causation. However, if you just picked two random uh, variables and found that you got exactly the same correlation, you need to be aware that you could discount it as well, as there may be no connection whatsoever.